Hello and welcome. My name is Phil Melton. I'm with Mercury Gate International, and I'm happy to say that we are continuing our discussions with Pratt Iyer from LoadSmart. I guess my question for you would be, you know, with the holiday season coming upon us, and there's going to be way more demand uh, for for shipping. What do you what do you see happening there, and how do we kind of uh, become agile enough to handle that from a shipper's perspective? Any thoughts about yeah, that? Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, what we think is that, you know, when you add in the additional factor of that seasonal demand, coupled with this already existing strong demand in the market, um, you know, you add in soaring spot rates and driver shortages, um, we're going to keep seeing this really, um, you know, this this intense market with high outbound tender rejection. Um, Today, when you look at OTR, it's, it's been hovering between 20 to 25 percent. It means that carriers are getting, um, you know, premium rates to move loads and maybe one in four carriers is rejecting a tender. Right. Um, and, and that has a huge impact to um, on contracted freight. And so shippers that spend a lot of time and, you know, they strategically go through these RFPs, they're trying to lock in their pricing and capacity um, ahead of time. Um, they're suffering and these trends aren't really showing any sign of easing. I don't think this disruption is going to be helped by the holiday season. It's really not. Um, and it's going to have a huge, huge impact on shippers. And they really need to be thinking about how to adapt and, um, you know, um, respond to these conditions more effectively. Um, I think that Naturally, shippers have uh, been doing a few things, you know, for one, they've been forced to move a lot of freight on the spot market um, for them. That often means service issues, reliability issues, really high rates. Um, a lot of them have tried to, um, you know, kind of maneuver and they're trying things like mini bids more frequently instead of maybe that annual RFP. Um, this has some success, Phil, but um, we think there's still a risk, a big risk of carriers not showing up. You know, they're going to be chasing those, you know, premium loads that pay more. And at the end of the day, that mini bid, it's still a static rate. So um, I think that shippers are realizing that there is an area of tools and technology um, available to them. The power of technology um, and integrations between systems like Mercury Gate and when you add in what LoadSmart does can provide relief to shippers in some ways, which, you know, I will get into exactly how that happens. Um, but I think the first step towards getting, um, you know, some relief or navigating these conditions is having um, resilient and having some resiliency is having a strong TMS and really knowing how um, to use a TMS like Mercury Gate, right? A, TM a TMS to centralize communication, to improve visibility, to improve visibility and so on. And, um, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts, um, firstly, on how a shipper can, you know, use a, a TMS to, to get there. Yeah, I think we're going to talk about that uh, as we go through the conversations. But um, absolutely, an enterprise TMS, a SaaS one like we we provide at Mercury Gate, uh, we found it to be very valuable, especially during the Black Swan uh, conditions we just had in the last year and a half. So uh, having that TMS and having partners like yourself that are connected to that just open up capacity across the board. So it really makes a a huge difference uh, for those that actually have a TMS and that uh, are able to leverage those fast, quick, um, you know, load board or load smart like that partners to get the information and get loads, you know, basically shipped. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's great. It's great to have partners and it's great to have a TMS that is really a SaaS TMS where you can work from anywhere uh, because you don't have to be on site with it.